Hello everyone. Today myself, Pranjal Bama, uh, solution specialist in water and wastewater, talking from Capricor Technology, bring you to a weekly insight on how to import a basic SCADA data within a distribution network. So before proceeding further, I would like to give a brief intro about our company. So Capricor Technology is a Venezuela company which is having a legacy of over three decades has now become a partner of choice for the AC industries. Caprico Technology is one of the biggest platinum partner also for Autodesk and Bentley along with Authorized Training Center. So we can say that today with over 10 offices across India and 220 SPAD team members, we are serving over 20,000 customers in the building, infrastructure, manufacturing, along with a large number of industries as well. So these are the, some of the features that uh, we shall be discussed during this insight. So the first I will go with the understanding the concept of uh, the SCADA tool which is present in water jam SCADA. So basically SCADA kind of simulator provides a way for user to modify and run a model scenario from a very simple user interface without the need to interact with some of the most sophisticated features of water, ger water jam. And also you can create uh, like how we are going to create a SCADA signal within a system and lastly how we are going to review the result. So I'm just switching to the software and give you a live demo about how we can import a SCADA data. Okay, so in this lesson, we will import uh, the historical SCADA data. So actually that has been stored in an Excel file. So I'm going to import that data. Before going to do, I'm just going to check one scenario that I have already created within this system. Then just go to another scenario option. You'll find a scenario. We have EPS 48. So I'm just double click. I'm just open the, I'm going to compute the result for this. So once you compute the result, you found that this type of dialog box will be appear. Then you have to generate the graph for the same. So from here, you can go for the graph option. So I'm just going to click on the graph option. So you can see uh, the red line is indicating the flow supply within the system. And the green line is indicating the how much flow is stored. And the, whereas the blue line is indicating the flow demanded. OK, after reviewing this result, what we can do is we're going to we are we, we gonna identify the scatter data source so for that what we have to do is under an analysis tab you'll under an analysis tab you'll find a scatter connect simulator under scatter connect simulator you have to go for the scatter signal once you click on the drop down menu of a scatter connect simulator tool so once you found a scatter signal just click on it and you find the scatter signal dialog box will be appear next what you have to do is just click on this new option and select as a database source so once you click on this so this type of dialog box will be appear the next thing what we can do is uh, click the edit option button in front of cops in front of connection box so i'm just going to click on it so in data source type like my file is of excel type so i'm going to select as a data source for an excel and then in set data source we have to select that file where it is located so here is my file scada1 in the format of excel i'm just going to open it so once you do this you can always go for the test connection so once you test connection it should be respond as a connection succeeded and just click okay then just close the close the database connection i'm just going to close it and back in the database database source manager we can give us some of the input sorry i think i haven't uh, i'm just gonna select again it's gonna be excel file then data source of scada and open test connection okay and then okay so once you do this so some of the input you might have to give within the database source dialog box. So if I go for the table name, it is indicating a sheet one. So I'm just going to click on this. Then the source format, what you what will be your source format? So I'm going to go with the multiple values per row. And in a time setup field, you can select uh, time in hours. And then what uh, is it real time or historical as I'm 
importing the data of historical data. So I'm just click on historical and you can also give a time tolerance. Once you're done with this, just here is an option select as SCADA signal. So you have to click on this select SCADA signal here at the left bottom. Once you click it, you will find the two for the pump and tank is being presented within a signal label. So you both, we require both of them. So you can add this. So just highlight this and here is an option indicating add single arrow. Just add and you would add second also. And just click OK. Once you click OK and you can click OK to leave data source type. So this actually bring you back to the SCADA signal manager. So after that, what we have to do is if uh, we want to see the SCADA data in water gem. So I'm just going to click on pump one. So I'm from here. You can actually set the uh, like what like my file was of 2000 in. 2016 so i'm just gonna go with this 2016 and the month is 9 and the date is 12 and again for the end date is going to be same so the year would be 2016 month is september and it is 12 and here i can also select and select the time also So once you do this and you just go for the refresh, I'm selecting this date because I'm importing the historical data. So the historical data, if I open this value is of 2016 value. So it's a historical data. That's why I've selected the start and end date as in this. Sorry, it will be a 14. Uh, it's for 14. Yeah. Now, once you refresh it, you will find out the result for the same. And similarly, you can do for the for tank as well so this is how you can import a SCADA data within your distribution network in next insight is going to be continue with this where I will create and mapping the SCADA signal element I hope you guys had an insightful session so do subscribe to our youtube channel and for all updates we would be delighted to hear from you so please do reach out to us for any suggestion query or topic you would want to discuss see you next week with the next slide thank you